of fact, where we came you are the founder of this technology. And with me here, I did a care James, training director of Astronomy Technologies. And Arena Fiza Bayami, the trainer of Astronomy Technologies. Today we clocked six. And we're super excited and grateful to the God Almighty for keeping us to this point. I want to thank all our supporters, trainers, staffs at Trivis Technologies, and parents, students at Trivis Code School. Today, I'll be having a little chat with my colleagues to discuss about the journey so far and where we are going. So, Adijake, you've been a, train a trainer at Trivis Technologies for about three years. How has been the experience? What do you have to share? Uh, I just want you to answer questions about kids coding, how the experience has been for you and also for the student. Yes. Absolutely amazing if you ask me. It's been a wonderful ride. Seeing kids with no code experience, no computer experience, transformed to become tech giants has been one of the highlights for me. Personally, I just love the way the kids are evolving, things are changing, I'm seeing them solve problems and that makes me happy even as the day goes by. It's been wonderful, I mean three years ago. Wonderful, amazing. Those words say it all. Thank you so much, Adi Jackie. So, Arna, before come, joining Rose Technologies, you've been a STEM educator for a very long time and you've also joined us. What are your expectations in the field of STEM in the next five years? What do you hope to see and as you get to this technology? All right, for me, um, my own expectations for STEM in Nigeria, especially, is the fact that. Um, we hope that in the future we create multiple learners with a lot of thinking about technology and also a wide variety of skills that they can actually postulate to the country and also help the country develop local solutions that are best from Africans here, right here in Nigeria, trained by STEM professionals. And with Rubis Technologies, STEM is um, a core in Rubis Technologies um, training mode. And it's fantastic for with the fact that a lot of methods that we employ at Rubis Technologies has actually contributed, even as little as it is, or very impactful to the growth of every student in the area of STEM. And I think that's a wonderful contribution coming from a six-year-old technology to come. Thank you. Thank you so much, Haruna. Over the past six years, we've been involved in training kids and teenagers for free and also for a price at our code school. Last year, we started a routine of going to specific places, remote areas during our anniversary to celebrate it and bring coding to them for free for a particular period of time. This year, we're going to be visiting Ekwe in Lagos State and Ogbomosho Town in Oyo State. We we'll implore you to join us in supporting this project and seeing that we engage and involve more kids in technology. Our goal for this year is to bring at least 2,000 kids into the world of technology and see them do amazing things, creating solutions that are recognized globally. Aside that, we offer several programs at Tribus Technologies and currently we are running a program called Summer of Code to engage your kids during this period. So I'll just quickly engage Adi Jake to speak a little about our Summer of Code program this year and what you should expect from Jake. Thank you so much. The Summer of Code is a boot camp for kids between age 5 and 19. So this year is dynamic because we have it physically and online. And we have various cohorts cut across at different batches from June to September. So do well to enroll for our Summer of Code by visiting www.rubistech.org forward slash SOC or call any of the numbers. Thank you so much, Adi Joke. So during the holidays, because we have the interest of these kids in mind, and we're not just in, I'm interested in those that can afford our trainings, we started in the year 2020 to have an online conference for kids, which we tagged the Breeze Conference. So this year we're going to be having the third edition, where these kids get to learn from their peers. We call it the conference for the kids and by the kids. So yeah, I'll let Aruna speak a little about our Breeze Conference 2023. Yeah, the Brace Conference is an opportunity for every kid that has actually started a career in technology or those that are actually looking forward to starting a career in technology. So the Brace Conference is a space for kids to actually explore and also learn from all other creative minds in the industry. So by July 29th of 2023, the Brace Conference is coming up online. Do well to register with the link below this video. Thank you. Let me also remind you that the Brace Conference is totally free. So if you have a kid between the age of 5 to 19, let them get involved. 
to get more about our programs, to hear more about what we do, because these are just limited to what we do, visit our website www.rubystep.com.